I am Liz. I am a volunteer for FIRST. I work at AndyMark and I am a mentor on a FIRST robotics competition team. In this video, we are going to be talking about mounting bumpers. For construction of bumpers, please check out our other video. This is a kit of parts drive base. For bumpers, it's important to know where you're going to mount your bumpers on your frame. You have the option to mount on the sides and the front, but you really wanna protect the corners of your robot. There are many different solutions that you can come up with to construct bumpers for your robot. So it's important to look at the first robotics competition game manual and look up the specific robot construction rules regarding bumpers. The construction rules have very specific rules about which parts of your frame need to be covered by bumpers. Some teams will construct bumpers that go around the full frame perimeter covering all four sides. Some will only choose to cover the corners of their robot and other teams may choose to make bumpers in two sections or two different parts in a C shape or other way in order to make sure their robot frame is protected from interaction during matches. Some teams may choose to construct a full frame to sit on top of their robot in order to hold their bumpers in place. It's important to look at the rules and make sure that your bumpers are within compliance for all the weight restrictions and size restrictions that are in place and written in the rules. With your kit of parts drive base, different brackets are included to help you mount your bumpers. The first bracket is a corner bracket. This is provided to provide a rough connection to corners on your bumper. The bracket can be screwed into two pieces of wood to make an angle corner that goes on the corner of your robot. You'll find two additional brackets in your kit of parts drive base kit. The front bumper bracket looks like this. This is designed to provide a robust connection to your frame on the front and rear of your robot. The other bracket is a side bumper bracket. On the kit of parts drive base, this bracket fits on the side of your robot, providing a robust connection. Both of these brackets will mount using wood screws to the wood on your bumper, and the bumper will be able to be removed for easy changes between matches. When constructing your bumpers, it's important that your bumpers remain in the bumper zone. The bumper zone is the height off the floor your bumpers are allowed to be. When constructing your bumper, the front corner bracket sits on the front edge of your robot and is mounted to the wood. When the top edge of the bumper bracket is aligned with the top edge of the wood using six inch wheels, this will be in the bumper zone. But make sure to check the rules and make sure that your bumpers are in compliance when you're building them. These brackets will attach with wood screws to the wood bumper planks. We recommend mounting these brackets to your bumper planks before putting the noodles and fabric on your bumper. Another rule to remember is bumper segment length. In the robot construction rules, there's a minimum segment length that's written in the manual. You wanna make sure that each wood piece meets that minimum length. We've already cut these segments into lengths that are long enough and comply with this year's bumper rules. The bumper brackets provided have holes that are designed to line up with the holes in your kit of parts drive base. You want to decide where to put your front bracket. These brackets have holes that are evenly spaced that match up with holes on your kit of parts drive base. For corner bumpers, this bracket can be spaced so that it matches the edge of the wood panel. It's helpful to mount this to your robot so that you know it's in the same spot when you go to put your wood screws in your planks. The side bumper bracket will fit in the outer rail of the drive base. The holes on the outer rail are evenly spaced and will match up with the holes on the top and bottom of the bracket. This bracket can be placed at any hole number increment from the corner of the frame. The bracket is designed to accommodate wheel axles and other hardware that may be on the outside of your frame. Once you've installed the side bracket, you can make sure that it fits into place. Ensure that your bumpers stay within the height restrictions listed in the robot construction rules. It's important to design your bumpers so that they can easily be changed between matches. The parts that are included with the drive base include wig nuts and screws that allow for bumpers to be easily removed. 
Teams are able to use any hardware that they'd like to mount their bumpers as long as it complies with the robot construction rules. It's important for you to build your bumpers early and see how the bumpers will affect your robot mechanisms and design when you're going to do things like pick up game pieces or drive around the field. There are many ways to mount your bumpers, and this is one of them. Make sure to check out our other video on bumper construction as well.